Hello everybody, today is September 8th, 2011, and would you believe there was another, yet another, X-Flare. So much for NASA trying to tell everybody that the sun was going into a quiet period. Massive amounts of plasma are being ejected from the sun, and these two locations seem to be now triggering each other. This one goes off and then another eruption comes from this other side if you watch.
Now, even though NASA says the sun's going through a quiet period, the last few days have been anything but that. And uh, makes me wonder if we don't have a cardigan event coming soon. Now, that happened about 152 years ago. And it lit up the night sky so bright that the gold miners there in California thought it was daytime and got up early and went to work. Telegraph wires um, caught on fire, setting the paper on fire, trees on fire, poles on fire, shocked and knocked the operators out. Now they say if that happened again, we would probably have um, major infrastructure of power outages, it could affect our satellites, etc. But if you watch, there is, th this is an X flare. There's another X flare on this side, there it goes, which makes another X flare go off and then get another. And this is all dated today, very early in the morning. So you can see all the mass particles of plasma being ejected. You can see a lot of different comets coming by, which is unusual. Just thought there'd be something you guys should be aware of. I don't know if anyone else has thought about the cardigan event that might be coming. Um, Hey guys, this is Robert at propheticseer.com. This is what I would expect to see as the comet Elenine gets close, closer to the Earth and swings by the Sun. Another X-class flare. Look at this. Just happened. This is from the NOAA site, .gov, NOAA. Another strange thing. Check this out. This just happened. Look at this. Is this the comet? What the heck is this? It looks like a comet flying right by the by the sun. This is a NASA.gov picture, SOHO picture. Here's another one. Check this one out. You can see the tail on it. Look at the tail. Uh, you got a real good picture of the tail here. Look at that. Um, what do you make? What do you make of it? Amazing, huh? Look at that. And like I said, we just had another X-class flare on top of that. Could this X-class flare be what I showed in the other video that happened when the comet NEAT, N-E-A-T, flew by the sun? The sun emitted huge flares, almost in a response. It looked like the sun was trying to repel uh, the comet NEAT in 2003. Check out the video of that. On my, I'll put a link to the uh, other video of that below. But what do you make of this? What do you think this is? God bless. 
G'day YouTubers, Ned Flanders. It's uh, 9.15. It is uh, the 2nd of September 2011. Uh, that's my time too, Eastern Standard Time. There's been a massive 7.1 uh, magnitude earthquake up in the Fox Island, the Lucian Island region, up in the Bering Sea, just on the tip of Alaska. It is approximately 35 kilometres under the ground. Uh, first report said 10 kilometres under the ground. Um, so obviously it's changing as they get more information. I'm going to go into a buoy check now and upload any uh, reports regarding tsunamis. The areas I would be looking out for would be the west coast of the uh, United States, um, Hawaii, uh, Japan, Philippines, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, even down to the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, and quite possibly uh, the Cayman Islands, around, which are around about here. So, what does that spell? Um, a lot of water and a lot of ground shifting around right there. So what I'm going to do, I'll jump on, grab the, uh, the report for any tsunamis, if there is an alert, and I'll get that out to you ASAP. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Antonio,